I'm going to change the meeting into questions. You have heard me teach, and you have heard others say they heard me teach. Now, you that desire to question me when you're at home, you are here now. While I'm going to offer you the service, ask me questions on that which you have heard me teach. I can't say on that which you heard my brother say because I just told you some of the brothers is telling others in the truth. So if there's anyone that would like to ask me some questions on what you heard me teach, you are welcome to stand up and ask me. Or anything that you like to ask me pertaining to the teaching. Yes, brother. We are trying to get some planes in the air with our initial, not for sure, but we want them at work, yes, sir. helping us. You will soon see some. Yes, sir. Yes, brother. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Dear holy apostle. Uh, from the teachings that I've heard, you said that the moon represents, as it is right now in the first quarter, the original black people. Am I right, sir? No, it don't say really represent the black man in the stage it's in. Uh, now, the way you see it, but it represents the sign of the black people that is here in, on, in North America that is blind, deaf, and dumb, and dead to the knowledge of self. What was once in the knowledge of self? Yes, sir. My question was, sir, what do the other three quarters represent? Pardon me, sir? I was wondering what the other three quarters represented. What was? He, he wanted to know what the other three quarters Represented the other three quarters. Yes, sir. It represents stages in our rise into the knowledge of self. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. The Holy Apostle, I'd like to know where is Allah God in the person of Master Farad Muhammad today? He is where he is. The Holy Apostle, uh, the events surrounding uh, Pharaoh, could you tell me if that was a, a parable or was that, uh, did that actually happen? I didn't understand you so well. The Apostle, he said that the events surrounding Pharaoh, did this actually happen or was it a parable? This long failure. No, sir. The events that surrounded Pharaoh. Hmm. Pharaoh in the Bible. Pharaoh in the Bible, yes, sir. Oh, you're talking about Pharaoh. Huh? 
What do you want to know? He about? wanted to know if these events actually happened or are they a parable of sorts? What event? Uh, events concerning the uh, drowning in the Red Sea. Yes. There were signs, that events that took place in the time of Pharaoh and his people and Israel were signs of what you see going on today. I don't know what sign that you are referring to, but all the history that I have read of, of Pharaoh and his people with Israel is referring to us and our modern Pharaoh. I just want to know if uh, Pharaoh, was he a black man or was he a white man? Who? Was Pharaoh supposed to be a black man or a white man? No, he was not white. There was not an Egyptian that was actually white at that time, according to the teachings of the history of Pharaoh and his people. He was not really white people because the origin of the population of Egypt was not made white. There was of the original. Yes, ma'am. This is according to what Allah taught me of the history uh, I don't know if it was one of your teachings or uh, how it came about, but it was a teaching that I've heard. And the question was asked, where did the outcome where man originated came from? I don't quite understand. Uh, 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 I'd like to know where the um, was ma man was a uh, man was originally originated from an atom. Where did this atom come from? Yes, if he was originated from Africa, he is African. No, dear, pardon me, dear Apostle. She said she heard of a teaching that man had originated from an atom and she want from an atom and she wanted to know where the atom came from he was originated from what she's saying that man originated she heard a teaching that man originated from an atom that's right and she wanted to know where the atom came from where did that atom came it came from space this is out of space where he was originated. An atom of life within the darkness of the space. And he came out of the atom that was in space. Now you may wonder, how did that atom get in space? <laughs> the history of the space teaches us that at that time, it was nothing but darkness. If there had been light for us to use our glasses on it to find out whether there was an atom of light in it before the atom was exploited to show what it was, we would tell you so, but we can't go that far with you. We don't know how the atom became in space. 
And what came out of space? A human being. That's as far back as we can go with you. This is what Allah taught me. He said to me like this in answer to my question on man, creation. He said, brother, we know that he was created, but when, we can't tell you because we had nothing to go by. And so he had to tell all himself after he had created himself. Then we go from what he said. And I thought that was good truth for me to teach him. <laughs> Something else? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm not to tell you other than the truth. I am the next closest one to Allah. I don't think Allah will take a liar for his right hand. To his right hand is a liar. No. I tell you what he taught me. And it's up to you to believe it or let long. Some more. Anything that you want to ask me, I'm very happy to answer if I know the answer. I don't say to you I know all the answers unless he reveal them to me. But if he has revealed them, or uh, sometimes you reveal them, time you get it out of your mouth. Yes, I don't pre previously have the knowledge, but while you are asking the question, he tells me the answer. Alaikum, dear Holy Apostle. Alaikum salam. Sir, I was wondering where the lower forms of animal life came from and how it came about. He would like to know where the lower form of animal life came from and how it came about. The form of animal life, I asked him about it. And how did they come here? The first thing he answered, he said, ever since we had an earth, brother, we had the element only. And uh, I said, how was they made? He said, I told you, ever since we had the earth, we had element life only. <laughs> Dear Apostle, he said he would like to know of the authenticity of the lost ten books of the Bible. Lost books of the Bible? Yes, sir. He said he wants to know... He 
He's saying that there has been published a book called The Lost Ten Books of the Bible. And he wants to know if this book is, uh, is a true, is the, is the works in the books true? I don't know, brother. He didn't teach me that there was any law. Well, like him. Uh, what puzzles me is, according to the Bible, it teaches that God is a spirit, and that was the main thing that kind of stumbled me when I first heard your teaching. Are these quotes that are in the Bible, uh, have they been added, and how long has this teaching been going on? Ever since the writers of the book. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. I would like to know if the nation of Islam teaches of a heaven and hell as in Christianity. No, not like Christianity, but it teaches of a heaven and a hell. But not in the same way that Christianity teaches. We teach a heaven and a hell while you live. You cannot be tormented in hell if you are not alive. You gotta be alive to feel the torment. And if you are in a hell, heaven, you gotta be alive to feel the joys of heaven. Sir, there is no such thing as a life after death, then. No, if you are referring to a physical death, a physical death does not carry any life. It's physically dead. But uh, if you are referring to a spiritual death, that is true, being dead to the spirit of God. You don't have his spirit in you, and then we call you dead. I read in the Bible that man would destroy himself. Do you believe that? Pardon me? He read in the Bible that man would destroy himself. Do you believe that? Man will be showing himself. Will destroy. Will destroy himself. Will destroy himself. Yes, sir. Yes, I believe it. Yes. In what way? In whatever way you build your life up. You don't have no... Uh, nothing out here that will destroy you just because that it can destroy you only when you go to fight each other. But there is nothing prepared out here to destroy you. You destroy yourself. So Allah taught me. What? Is it true that the devil has reached the moon? Why, certainly in physical way, yes. According to their uh, report and their pictures of them on the moon. Now, 
the other part of what moon represents. We have not reached that part. The part that we preach of equality, that spiritual teaching, and that uh, he have not reached the spiritual equality. That's what we represent the moon for, equality between man and man. And therefore that moon have not as yet uh, been reached by the devil. She wants to know, dear Apostle, how the Egyptians managed to get the pyramids as high as they did and with what instruments. Uh, the Savior taught me that they had a hydraulic. They used in those days that they don't have in use now and will not put it in use because of the devil, that he will grasp that knowledge. As he don't know it yet, he has been asking the question himself. He said to me, they would put that same hydraulic in effect as soon as they remove the devil. They don't want them to know it. Dear Apostle, she also wanted to know, she said, since black man is the original man, are there black men in among other beings on other planets? I didn't get the teachings of the knowledge of what was on other planets from him as he was trying to acquaint me into the knowledge of myself who is on this planet and other Of the last pound, how did the movement survive? I can't hear them too good up here. Yes. She says, In the last days of the lost found, how will the Muslims survive? That's what God came for to save us from that which uh, He will permit to destroy our enemies. He have come to separate the righteous from the wicked and destroy the wicked and save us from the destruction of that that he's using to destroy the wicked. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Uh, dear Holy Apostle, uh, since your teaching on the theology of time, uh, approximately ten weeks back you said that in the destruction of America there was two places, a refuge. I was wondering if you could reveal those two places.
true places of refuge. Yes, sir. Did you say I said that? Yes, sir. It was in, uh, in the, uh, since you have been teaching here, it was in the, uh, Muhammad speaks on the theology of time. You mentioned there were two places of refuge. and uh, Well, if I did, there is two. I can prove you there is two. There is one. Number one with your Lord and my Lord. question, brothers, to know where you will be saved, where you will be secure. Dear Holy Apostle, in your teaching today, you indicated that we as black people should uh, get rid of the names that the slave master has given to us over the years. The question that I have is whether or not uh, you recognize the legality and legitimacy of non-Christian names assumed by black people by virtue of court decrees which names have not been given to the black brother or sister by yourself? I recognize any black man's name if he has some kind of origin for it. But uh, I know that if you see the hereafter, which is uh, meaning the destruction of this world, and the name of the devil. That you will have an honorable name and a name that will live and a name that every one of our people will respect and, and will admire. But the name of the devils of this world their name will be destroyed with them. You won't have their name around here to go in. Their language will be destroyed. You won't be able to speak their language. So Allah taught me after 20 years of destruction of them. You will have to speak your own holy language because no one will talk to you in any other language. <laughs> Excuse me for looking at the time, please. I've got to keep up time. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, brother. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Uh, this is my second uh, visit here to the temple, and I uh, desire a name and desire to reclaim my own. I was wondering if the uh, Most Holy Apostle could tell me how I can become, you know, uh, how I can strengthen my belief. Yes, sir. He said that this is his second visit to the temple. And he, he desires to reclaim his own and, and for a name. And he wants to know if you, sir, would tell him how he could strengthen his belief. Will I do what? Tell him, instruct him how to strengthen his belief. Just keep coming here, brother. <laughs>
Mẹ nó ngon nữa không? Yes, rồi, cắm đây đâu When the world comes to an end, will Allah turn their back on them or will he send someone over there to uh, save them and tell them who's the right guy and uh, bless them? He wanted to know, dear Apostle, when the world comes to an end, will Allah turn his back on the people in the East or will he send someone to teach them of who the right God is? I'm teaching you to who is the right God myself. <laughs> the uh, Bible says that he will send his angels from the east to gather us from the west. I'd like to ask one question. After visiting this temple and listening carefully, I would like to know how one can become an Islam. He says, after visiting this temple and listening carefully, he wants to know how one could become a Muslim. I believe what I teach you and follow me. about the Great Northern Dean. I read where it was indicated that it wasn't supposed to be eaten, and I was wondering how, whether or not this has changed or not. The Great Northern Dean. The Apostle, he wants to know whether or not, he said he had read that the Great Northern Dean was not to be eaten, and he wants to know if that has changed. We uh, don't go for eating the large sized bean, though they may be uh, navy beans, but we eat small size of them. That's what he thought. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Mr. Muhammad, I'd like to know, I read in the Sun Times that um, Master Farad was a drug addict. Is this true? I don't think you have found any drugs here for sale since you've been coming here, have you? Well, he didn't teach us to use drugs that would put us out of our natural mind. Thank you. And back to it, he didn't teach us to use drugs of no kind. We use drugs sometimes due to our weakness of causing our body to need some kind of nourishment of that which is now making us sick. But he didn't teach me that. He told me and taught me how to live.
to keep from using anything like drugs. But sometimes we get weak and we go and do that against the nature of our body and which they were made in. Then we go and look for something to help us to get back and to the well-being again. And we grab at anything that will give us easement. That be true. But if you live like he taught me for us to live, we don't need drugs at no time. We eat two, once every two or three days, we won't need no drugs. You say, well, Muhammad, to tell me you use some drugs, yes, because I was other than myself. I wasn't eating like he told me. Therefore, falling away from the way I was taught, I suffered the consequence. I suppose to hate it if I don't live according to his teaching. But I was to do that. I could not be able to teach you if I don't taste the same that you taste. As the Bible teaches you, and all their afflictions, he was afflicted. But yet the pleasure of the Lord will be upon him. It don't mean by no means that he was guilty of something and that God afflicted him. No, it don't mean that like the people thought of Job. Job being a beloved man of God, and he turned him over to the devil to try him out. Let the devil try him out. As the devil had said to God, take the hedge away from around him, and that he'll crush you to your face. He told the devil, go to him, but save his life. And so the devil went and he put on Job everything that he had. That he had those who believed in him under. But he was unable to change Job's mind. He suffered all of the affliction that was put on him, as he tells you. And his book that God brought him near to death but nevertheless he refused to forsake God and he come out of it and the devil was defeated this the modern joke that we talk about I have suffered bronchitis, uh, asthma, and I would say all of it associates for about near 10 years now. But I'm not ready to curse God and die. About it, the Bible is talking about us. I asked him about this. Who was he talking about it? I said, Earth or the Jews and the Greeks? He said, No, it's talking about you all. So when it comes to my affliction, he said, Take plenty of it, brother. He said, You will be all right after that. So I go and read over Job's affliction. I said, he did come out of this. 
And so I believe I'm coming out of mine. Question someone wants to ask? Alaikum. Walaikum salam. I noticed that uh, within a few weeks, the uh, white press and the news media is raging a campaign against Arab, the Arab nations and trying to get public sympathy for the Israelis. And uh, I wonder, could this be because? of the fact that the Arab nations are beginning to recognize the black mu Muslim movement here in, in the U.S. Yes, I believe those who have knowledge of what kind of work I'm doing in America is beginning to recognize it and respect it. That's right. I believe. This is the greatest work ever happened in our midst since we have been crucified into slavery by the white man. There was a work of this kind come in his midst that he was in, that he was able to try and attack and win. He don't even question this way. You go out there and bring all you can see out there. Not a one of them would get up and question me. There's nothing for him to question me on. That's right. He knows the truth. Right. But he's not able to do the truth. That's right. But he knows it. Right. He gave me credit for teaching the truth. But he's not able to accept the truth. Because there is no truth in here. The wrong side will go to destruction. Do you feel that all men have to die? I want to know what about the Christians you said? Uh, she said that according to the Christian teachings, all men must die but those who are on the right side of God will go on to an eternal life. Yes, and that's why we are here today, because those on the right side mean those who believe in God, and they put that trust in God, and we are descendants of those righteous people. Uh, she wants to know, will we have to suffer death? There is not a life made according to the teachings of God to me that will not taste death. Hi, salam alaikum, you all the apostles. Wa alaikum salam. I've always been confused about how an original man like the uh, Egyptian would put in slave another original man uh, like the Hebrews, the Israelites. I'd like to know what made the Egyptian wicked. What made the Egyptians what? What made the Egyptians wicked. He could not understand how an original man like an Egyptian would place another original man like the Hebrews in slavery. And what made the Egyptians wicked. I guess I, I should have somebody up here in my place to listen to you. What made the Egyptian wicked? Yes, sir. Uh, there was in that time the wicked man coming among them. Six thousand years ago, the uh, wicked devil got a chance to visit among the Egyptians, like uh, when England
come among the Egyptians. And they uh, deceived the Egyptians to the fallen and doing like them. And there was the Turkish people who also there in Egypt and they poured a little of their devil stuff in them under the rule of Pacha. He had two questions to ask me. I wanted to know, uh, have you spoken to God yourself and uh, how long have you known uh, ally? Yes, uh, as far as the name goes, I'm Allah and you Allah. I'm not anything more than you in that name. We're all Allah. Pardon me, sir. Uh, I, his question was, number one, did you yourself speak to God? And secondly, how long have you known Allah? Yes, I thought I was speaking Him ever since I was born. But I didn't know Him. I was blind to the knowledge of Him. So He came to me and made Himself known to me. This is the way I got known. Am I? was trying to seek him, but I wasn't able to approach the right path to get to him because I was blind when I was born by the enemy. Any more? The Apostle, he says that he read in the Muhammad Speaks recently that you were going to come back to the temple and reveal where the promised land was. But he says he's been following Muhammad Speaks and he has not seen you reveal that and he wanted to know if you intended to. That's the place where you're in now. the Bible where that Jesus said that it is the Lord's own good will to give thee the kingdom. This means a kingdom that you have to inherit that is not present at that time, but the kingdom of heaven that is the righteous. He intends and it will be this place that he will give the kingdom of the weak. As Isaiah and other prophets prophesied, that he gives to us the kingdom of the weak. Um, uh, Muhammad, I would like to know, uh, you just said about uh, Joseph and Mary, Mary just having one child, Jesus. Did they have more than one child after that child was born? Explain. Uh, she said that she's, she's read that Joseph, the, she wanted to know if Joseph and Mary had another child after Jesus. Another child. Another child oh, after I, Jesus. Uh, we find here in the New Testament where that uh, uh, they were inquiring of Jesus while he was teaching that uh, uh, someone told Jesus that his mother, brothers and sisters, was out there inquiring. And that Jesus made it clear that none could be his mother nor brother and sister unless they believed like them. And uh, 
this shows that uh, his mother and his brother was not good believers in him. If he turned them down like that. He said, these are mine that stand here, meaning those who was on the inside with him. Well, that is true. And the way of the belief, you can't be the brother of a believer or a sister of a believer unless you believe. Like this. Any more? No more? Then we going to... Yes, brother, come right on. We're about to dismiss. Salam alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. I would like to ask the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, were the original scientists black? Yes. According to what God taught me, the original one was black. They had a, a, a kind of, uh, well, a circle to themselves. And they were always black. Then what I would like to ask the Honorable Elijah is why do we now have to go to the, uh, to the devil to get our knowledge as far as science? Well, it is not me in your we. I'm not in that way. I don't go to the devil to get knowledge. <laughs> if I had went to the devil to get knowledge, you would attack me on that knowledge, but since I didn't graduate from colleges and universities of here, my knowledge is not of here. All that I teach came from Allah under the name of Master Farad Muhammad. I don't want to it to forever. I got nothing out of the school and uh, colleges and universities of the white men. I have none of it. But we have to go to the schools, established schools and universities in order to build a nation. You don't have to go to the universities of the devil to be able to teach the nation. As I just told you, I didn't go. I never had to. <laughs> just a moment. This is why you must have a team. You can't have a change unless that you get out of what you're in. And getting into another civilization, you have to have the knowledge of how to get in that civilization. So I teach you something new. It is not out there in this civilization. You can't find a step of it. Everything that you teach me, even from age, in the kindergarten of this devil's school, it has to be changed from that way and that understanding of A and B over here with us. You say, well, go ahead and tell me. Oh, well, let's go back there and write your name down on the book then.
This is why the devil put signs to every letter of his teaching, alphabet, and reading. He got signed letters there for you to pay attention to. That this he have recorded for it to be understood in another way. But we have something already recorded and have the other way with it. If you will understand what we are telling you. This is why I invite you to come. I want to teach you that which God has given to me to give to you. And the knowledge of that which the enemy gave to you. So you could know how to compare the two. That's why I'm inviting you to come. If, brother, you will follow me around here and there from one door of the teaching to the other, I will teach you the meanings of things when I can get you to understand first yourself. And if you ever understand yourself, then the understanding of his signs into higher learning will come real clear to you. I'm not risen up among you that is blind and deaf and dumb to the signs he uses for his higher knowledge and understanding in his educational system. I know them, but I want you to learn first yourself. So when I teach, I'll go with you over there and you're on higher education that you will not call me a liar. You will say, yes, this is where I got to. But I didn't know there was more. I will go to you in such teaching that you want me to, and your own teaching. And I will show you how the devil trick you and others. I'm not trying to play wise into that which you recognize is wisdom and the way it was taught to you. I'm not trying to play wise. I'm only trying to tell you that he didn't tell you all. And what I will tell you of that which you believe you is great and above what I have been taught. I will prove to you by that before his face that I'm telling you the truth that he robbed you instead of bringing you up his equal he kept you at his feet. I will let you go bring one in here, if you like to. And I'll give him a seat up here, and I will talk to him before you'll be. <laughs> we are not to be defeated. And we won't be defeated as long as God with us in person. <laughs> so at this time, I'm going to bring our meetings and questions to a close. As uh, it is time that we go home and some of us have to feed the babies. They are hungry. 
and they'll run us out of the house. <laughs> so if you will allow me to stop our meeting at this phase of it, I will thank you. Thank you, Bill Parker. <laughs> Thank you for having the intelligence to question me on what you have questioned me on, because it was not ignorant nor foolish. It made sense. So I thank you. And I'm going to ask how many are you visiting us who have not accepted what we teach? Hold up your hand. All you that is visiting us that have not accepted what we are teaching you. Oh, I know them more than that than this. I thought all of you were converted, but you few. I would say Allah has really blessed us. Now, have you been coming here long enough to learn whether or not we are teaching you the truth or other than the truth? Hold up your hand. Are you here that have learned that we are teaching you the truth? Hold up your hand. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, if you have learned that we are teaching you the truth, I want to see the hand that won't accept the truth. One, two, three. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> to prove you teach it, uh, you what? No, that's a step there. So I don't see no place here. Well, you will get to the minister or the secretary. Go back there and give her your name, and she will write you down. And you're going to be glad uh, when the time comes, when those people start to shoot at each other over there and sinking people's ships. You're going to be glad. Don't be like the Holy Quran said that you would be. Oh, would that I had followed the messenger. Oh, would that I had taken away with the apostle after the truth had come to me. So you follow that up by giving your name to the secretary. Thank you so very much for coming to this call for you, and don't let it leave you without you following it. I thank you. The world is in an awful condition. They want to shoot these people so bad. They're outright telling them now, since Japan has joined up with Korea and China, they are not a to tell you that they ready to kill Wild John. That's what they call the devil. So I said, get out of the way of the shooting of Wild John. I thank you for your patience and endurance here this afternoon, and that I hope to see you again soon. Assalamu <laughs> alaikum.